Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make mazapanes de cacahuates. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. It's almost Cinco de Mayo, so I decided we'd celebrate with a treat that I only recently discovered, even though it's been around for more than 500 years. When I was researching my recent episode on marzipan, I came across an article about mazapan de cacahuate. It's one of the simplest treats you can make having only two ingredients, peanuts and powdered sugar, but as you'll see, there's still a bit of work involved. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own mazapanes de cacahuates, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used one and a half cups of peanuts and one cup of powdered sugar. Traditionally, the peanuts would be unsalted, but you can use salted if you'd like. I also used a food processor, a two inch cookie cutter, a small scoop, and a cutting board. Okay, let's make some candy. Place the peanuts in the food processor and blitz them into a powder. You wanna go long enough to bring out some oil because that's what's gonna act as a binder, but don't go too long or you'll have peanut butter. Add the powdered sugar and continue processing until the mixture holds together when compressed. You're not looking for a dough here. Masapan has a very crumbly texture, so don't overprocess this. Once you've reached the desired texture, scoop some of the mixture into your cookie cutter and press it down firmly. And I mean firmly, as hard as you can. It's not possible to apply too much pressure here. Last week we got an arms workout with the old fashioned fudge. This week, we're working on grip strength. There is, however, a way to ease your burden a little bit. You just need to find something that fits perfectly into your cookie cutter. I looked all over the house for something of the right size and found this. It's the cap from a tube of toothpaste that my wife had purchased that very day. We hadn't even used it yet. You can use it as a plunger to press the mixture into the cookie cutter. Although you'll still need to get in there with your fingers to really press it down. I even made a few by banging on it with a rolling pin, which was pretty effective. When it's as compressed as you can get it, gently push it out of the cookie cutter then repeat until you've used up the remaining mixture. And that's it. Okay, let's have a taste. Slan va. This is really such an unusual texture. It's very delicate and crumbles in your mouth. A little grainy, but not unpleasantly so. The taste is reminiscent of the filling in a peanut butter cup, which makes perfect sense. Speaking of which, I drizzled a little chocolate on some of these, which makes it even more like a peanut butter cup. If you're looking for a simple treat with great flavor, you really ought to try these. Traditionally, the peanuts would be unsalted, but you can use salt. You just need to find something that fits perfectly for 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 for.